What up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Stevie Knight. About to get on one of these things, you feel me? Let's go to Patreon family. Let's crack with y'all. Continue along with this throwback Thursday vibe, man. But we're gonna incorporate some Eminem on this shit. Um, so uh <clears throat> apparently cannabis and Eminem had some beef back in the day. And uh, I mean, I try not to read what I've read, pulling the fucking songs up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that cannabis got washed like most motherfuckers do when they come at Eminem so first up to bat we got cannabis the ballad Eminem disc so let's see what that shit talking about fuck hold on what I do alright let go cannabis 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 Fucking shit is silly as hell. I'm about 8,000 miles away from home, thinking about the throne. I got my eyes fixated on. I just put an ad in the source to cause a little controversy. Came from doing a concert out in Jersey last Thursday. A kid said Eminem wanted to hurt me. He called my name out more than a few times and tried to embarrass me. His mind was very weak. I didn't know he had words for me. I bet he's probably never even heard of me. Ever since I met Stan, he took it. I mean. Right off the bat, he, he ain't saying nothing. I mean, I don't know how old this shit is, but the amount of Eminem I've heard from the old Eminem to the later Eminem, like Eminem's always barred you. He ain't thrown a bar in there yet. And he just, he just low-key distanced himself. He's like, he probably never heard of me. Like, if he never heard of you, then why would he come after you? Like, you low-key just dissed yourself right there, ain't it? All right, am I reaching? I don't think so. Let's go. I didn't know he had words for me. I bet he's probably never even heard of me. Ever since I met Stan, he took it kind of personally. It didn't even occur to me. He was involved personally with Stan earlier than me. Now he's perturbed to me. I see him. Hold on, what? What? Hold on. Me, I bet he's probably never even heard of me. Ever since I met Stan, he took it kind of personally. It didn't even occur to me. He was involved personally with Stan earlier than me. Now he's perturbed to me. I seen him on the street last week. He cursed at me. He told me him and D12 were gonna murder me. And any time that I'm Ready that he's got a verse for me. Damn, I didn't know he was that thirsty for me. I guess he ain't the only MC that's nervous to me. They ain't a person in the game with more courage to me. From France to Germany, they call me the merchant of beef. What you want, yo? Red or white meat? Meet me in Petty. I'm with JR. You in sight seeing the man. I got a nice feel. And this beat is terrible. <laughs> this was this would be this beat is trash. It sounds too. I don't know, man. Like. The beast putting me off from anything he's fucking saying, and combined with the fact that he's not even really saying anything, like, am I tripping? Am I tripping? Is I mean, we only got eleven thousand, what, almost almost twelve thousand views, but. Yo, red and white meat, meet me in Petty, I'm with JR, you in sightseeing, and man, I got a nice feeling, I'm working on my fourth album, and now that I think about it, I had a tight career, haven't I made it quite clear, lyrically I always be right here, and nobody can snatch my mic here, Rip the Jacker was a nightmare, Jack the Ripper's who he reminds me of, and I don't really like that, what kind of life is that, it's like Anthony Hopkins giving Norman Bates a nightcap, damn I can write raps, I'm it's like Anthony Hopkins giving Norma Bates a nightcap. That was, a, I mean, that was a cute little bar, man. But come on, dog, cannabis and cannabis can rap. He can rap. So what the fuck is this? It's like Anthony Hopkins giving Norma Bates a nightcap. Damn, I can write rap. So I'm good at it, ain't I? Niggas call my name out because they want the mic back. But I raised the price so high that in fact the market is collapsing. Niggas don't know how to act. I guess the world's chaos is spilling over the rap. They make you sign a contract and con you out of your tracks. Don't act like you don't know, biz. The man with the organic tongue and the golden spit. I left you frozen stiff with molten aluminum molded tips. I pierce a hole through a brick. You know I can rip. Say give me five, I'll show you six. Quicker than you could blink. Probably quicker than you could think. As quick as ink drives. My rhymes are contagious like pink eye. They hypnotize. You the dick ride. I'm illmatic like nah. My rhymes are contagious like pink eye. They hypnotize you to dick ride. I mean, I see what he was doing there, but that shit was a very pause statement. Like, why would you want your grown ass man bars to hypnotize? Unless he's talking, unless he's talking to a bitch. I'm assuming he's talking to a bitch. That makes that makes it better. He's saying his bars. Hypnotize these hoes to ride on their dick. I thought he was like trying to say, I got all these dick riding motherfuckers around me, these these riding coattail motherfuckers. That's what I thought, which was sounded hella fucking gay. But um I'm thinking he's just saying he hypnotizing the hoes to come ride on his dick. Right? Alright. 
Yeah. My rhymes are contagious like pink eye. They hypnotize you to dick ride. I'm but he said they hypnotize you to dick ride. So he's talking to Eminem. Eminem. He's hypnotizing Eminem to dick ride. Which sounds hella gay. <laughs> right. Quick as ink drives. My rhymes are contagious like pink eye. They hypnotize you to dick ride. I'm illmatic like Nas. I'm still mad like Escobar. No, I'm not still at it with Tars. Don't blame me. It ain't my fault. It never was. Before I even knew him, I already had a buzz. But that was then. And this is now. Bitch been ripping it down since the day came out. See, I've been there. Done that. I don't even have to make a comeback. I move over to France where the love's at. Become a bureaucrat. Stop cutbacks. Create a cure for AIDS. With a device that connects to the nutsack Capable of altering a man's blood pattern Humanitarians will love that I start a label with other acts Get a couple plaques and completely cover the map Before I come back I wanna give Alicia Keys a kiss Compose a ballad and just make a fiend for this I'm an extremist when I'm on some MC shit And after this you can never not believe in this Terry Stone, UK click, keeping it thick Use my name, motherfuckers, when you speak in the bitch JR Jewin, Armani Blanco Take you on mono, we mono, let um, uh, that was not good. That was not good. That was not good. Yeah, 98 likes, 78 dislikes. I'm like, all right. At least it's not a majority in one way or the other, like a overarching majority in this. I thought I was going to be an outlier and what people thought was good. I think most people know what's trash and what's not, and this is, mm, ain't going to Eminem too, but I mean, this is pretty early on in Eminem's career, right? So I don't know if, had, had Eminem been labeled a monster yet, lyrically, as far as these rap this is a concern, so, yeah, yeah that ain't, that ain't going to be enough. I'm just going to roll this shit into the next video, man, and why Eminem about to kill his ass, I already know. He killed him along with the title, Can I Bitch, which is, I mean, anybody can put that together, but I'm saying, Can I Bitch? is better than anything cannabis just said in that fucking song so uh let's go uh, i'm disappointed man i thought cannabis was gonna have some bars i thought cannabis was gonna have some bars all right next up eminem cannot bitch with the lyrics cannabis diss 5.8 million views let's go he about to torture his ass five minutes of fucking torture too let's go Beat his trash too. I think it went let a double copper wood. <laughs> like copper wood. But double copper wood. Okay, and it was Word play. Good. I think it went let a double copper wood. So the silly little fans, they were misled by a nerdy internet computer hip hop head. Me and you, Clef, we're gonna make some cash. Grab the silver paint and let's paint my ass. Hey, mister, would you get a bed with this stuff? The ass whipping I'm about to administer. Mm. This ass kissing little bash, no blister. Oh, <laughs> It's just different, my dog. It's just different. He killed him already just with the cadence alone. I mean, he's saying some outlandish shit. He called him a vaginal blister. Administer. How, how, I don't know how he spread that word to make it sound like that. The ass open, I'm about to administer. Yeah, the ass open, I'm about to administer. The way he stretched that out to rhyme the way it did was so hard. To this ass kissing little vaginal blister, bruh. Bro, get your ass out of here, cannabis. What the fuck, dog? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We need competition. This is not a competition. This is an ass thrashing already. 35 seconds in. Come on, dog. Let's get it. Cash. Grab the silver paint and let's paint my ass. Hey, mister. Would you get a bed with this stuff? The ass whipping I'm about to add minutes. To this ass kissing little bash. No blister. Stand of this little Marshall Mathers sister. Oof. Stand of this little Marshall Mathers sister. And I'm probably gonna be get. I mean, these bars are good because uh, uh, this ain't shit compared to what Eminem can do. But it's just it's such a difference of what I just heard from cannabis. So it's gonna sound like I'm gassing, but I'm gassing in regards to what I just heard from cannabis. Like it's from it's zero to a thousand like that, man. Like come on, bro, come on, bro. And I don't know who put out what first, but 
if cannabis heard Eminem shit and still wanted to put that shit out he put out, <clears throat> I mean, he just volunteered for the ass thrashing, dog. Finished up to this ass, kiss a little bash, no blister, stand of this. Little Marshall Mathers, sister, and in this corner we have the mister not having it. It's the Mads and it's the Dr. Evil with his bag of tricks. Fuck this little antagonist, faggot, dick sucking XLL, Cool J fan from Winter. Oh, oh, he is. <laughs> and then, like, the beat is so trash, but the way he's rapping makes me not even realize the beat is trash. Cause he's just riding the fuck out that beat. Riding the fuck out that trash ass beat. It is making me like the fucking beat because what he's doing to it with his words, bro. Come on, dog. Tricks fuck this little antagonist, faggot, dick sucking XLL, cool J fan from Windsor. I'm about to murder little Kenny Fag and this stuff. You bastard, I ain't wanna have to diss ya. Cannabis, where the fuck you at? I miss ya. Oh, he did that. Bruh, he did this shit this long ago. Eminem is fucking crazy. I ain't wanna have to diss ya. Cannabis, where the fuck you at? I miss ya. Cannabis, oh, cannabis. Wherefore art thou cannabis? Please tell me what happened with that style that you were rapping with. Please tell me what happened with that style you were rapping with because it is not popping no more. It was never popping. That shit was trash and it's non-existent now. So what happened? What happened? Damn, homie. In high school, you was the man, homie. What the fuck happened to you, bro? Like, what happened to that style you was rapping with, dog? I mean, I'm not there, so I don't really, I can't really, I can use contest cues to figure out what the fuck he's referring to. Like, you whack. So you're not popping no more. Please tell me what happened with that style that you were rapping with. Can a bitch, oh can a bitch, are you from Los Angeles, New York, or just a janitor from Canada, oh can a bitch. Wordplay from Canada, oh can a bitch. Now at first I ain't really understand this shit. Picture me for a second and imagine it. Chilling in a bad dance and relaxing when all of a sudden some bullshit comes across the skin as it's can a bitch. Or some stand live shit. It creeped me out at first, man, this is sick. But me being just the sick, this conflict gets my dick harder than arithmetic. And I know how you jealous ones envy. Hold on, he said what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now at first I ain't really understand this shit. Picture me for a second and imagine it. Chilling in a bad dance and relaxing when all of a sudden some bullshit comes across the skin. As it's can a bitch Or some stand live shit It creeped me out at first Man, this is sick But me being just the sick This conflict gets my dick Harder than arithmetic And I know Oh, okay I thought I had missed something Alright, alright That was a simple bar I'll, You see, you be fucking thinking too much When Eminem doing this shit he, I don't think he's gonna be get, he's, he's not gonna be giving me no puzzle pieces I thought he gave me a puzzle piece That I had to like You know what I'm saying Go back into what he said before But I was just thinking too much He says Get my dick hard and arithmetic My dick it's hard. Arithmetic is hard for motherfuckers who think doing mathematics is difficult to do. Difficult, hard. I get it. But me being just the sick, this conflict gets my dick harder than arithmetic. And I know how you jealous ones envy. I should have knew better from the first few letters you sent me. The first two letters you were telling me shit like you respect me, like any other regular MC. The third letter you ask, how come I ain't return none of the messages? The shady records you left me. The fourth letter, slam, you really starting to upset me. The fifth letter told me you were coming to get me. The sixth letter, there's a bomb threat in our building. This crazy motherfucker's really trying to kill me. So I went back and read the first. You let us set some shit about a message you left. Oh shit, that's not a E, that's an A. This dude wants to leave me a massage, he's gay. Right away, I'm on the phone with Dr. Dre. We got a bogey. Marshall, I'm on the way. Oh, bro, that shit was so cold. So, I'm assuming that letter shit actually happened. Cannabis sent him some fucking letters. And the fact that Eminem was aware of these letters that were sent, but just didn't acknowledge them, makes it a move, a slap in fucking Cannabis' face. And then they, they, they building really got a bomb there, right? I hope I'm not sounding retarded. I think I remember something in regards to that. But he said that, then, but he did that with, all I'm saying all that to say that he did that. He put all that envelope shit, like probably some factual shit that fucking happened and put it in that song like that with that cadence he just used. Like the fuck, the fuck. And he turned into some silly shit message, turned the E to an A, wanna give me a massage, you fucking gay. Come on, bro. He's gay. Right away, I'm on the phone with Dr. Dre. We got a bogey. Marshall, I'm on the way. Can a bitch, oh, can a bitch. Wherefore art thou can a bitch? Please tell me what happened with that style that you were rapping with. Can a bitch. He got me singing this whack ass chorus because it's so hard, dog. This shit is fire. Oh, can a bitch. Are you from Los Angeles, New York, or just a janitor from Canada? Only thing is, we both know where this kid lives, and neither one of us has 
Canadian citizenship shit. Oh, Dre, wait a minute, that's it. Cannabis is can Canadian? I ain't fucking know that. I thought he was just talking shit. Damn, this gonna make that bar even harder. Canada, oh, Canada, bitch. Playing word play out. Come on, bro. This kid lives and neither one of us have Canadian citizenship. Shit. Oh, Dre, wait a minute, that's it. All we gotta do is use a bit of turbo boost. We can fly over the border. Let's go. So we're off to Toronto and we're gaining speed. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Jermaine Dupree, fuck it. Keep going, no time to waste. Wait, back up. Hit him one more time in case. Okay, fuck, now he's dragging under the car. I don't know if that was a shot at Jermaine Dupree or not. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, cause he fucking hit him. He hit him and made that sound. That was that was a shot at Jermaine Dupree. Damn, damn, fuck. Keep going, no time to waste. Wait. Keep going, fuck it, no time to waste. They hit Jermaine Dupree. Fuck it, no time to waste. That's definitely a fucking shot. Back up, hit him one more time in case. Damn, <laughs> fucking fat. Oh, bruh, come on in. Be fucking, keep going, no time to waste. Wait, back up, hit him one more time in case. Okay, fuck, now he's dragging under the car. Oh well, only 30 more thousand miles. Meanwhile, me and Dre are trying to conversate. He's trying to find a reason for the constant hate. And trying to figure out what happened to Jermaine Propane. Putting the fell off that hard. Ain't no way. What happened to the way you was rapping when you was scandalous? The cannabis turned into a television evangelist. Plus, he raps with his regular voice. Pet shop boys. So we pull up to the bridge where he last was spotted. His corpse was still moving, but his ass was rotted. He kind of smelled a little like Courtney Love. I figured if I stick him with a fork, he's done. So I stabbed him twice. Kept jabbing Christ, he won't die. This guy's like a battered wife. He's like him. Bruh. Damn. Damn. Damn, dog. I mean, literally, I could have cut this shit off uh, two minutes ago. I'm like, hey, cannabis. Bruh, I wish I was around when this shit came out. Like, he got them thrashed. I bet after this, motherfuckers were scared of Eminem. Like, do not go with this motherfucker. You do not want this smoke. You do not want that smoke, bruh. You do not want that smoke, dog. Like, come on, bruh. He will fucking... This motherfucker will disembowel you with your, with his lyrics, bruh. This motherfucker will disembowel you with his lyrics, dog. Like, it's, it's bruh. He is tearing this motherfucker apart. Just limb after limb, cut after cut. Bone break after bone break, dog. Like cannabis is just limping around, leaking from these bars, bro. God damn. So I stabbed him twice, kept jabbing Christ. He won't die. This guy's like a battered wife. He won't die. This guy's like a battered wife. God damn, bro. That's a visual we painted for you with domestic violence and wife getting beat down so bad for her husband. Like, like beat the fuck down, but won't die. Come on, bro. Wife, he's like him. He keeps coming back for more. Mm, and that's a, that's a shot at Eminem's wife too, right? Won't die. This guy's like a bad wife. He's like him. He keeps coming back for more, but he won't fight back. I cracked his jaw. Hold up. This quit folding up. Punch me in the chest, make my shoulders touch. Do something. At least one punchline. Come on to the meter. Reads nine, nine, nine. Oh, bro. <laughs> he said, "Come on, punch me in the chest, make my shoulders touch." Do something, at least one punch. Come on, that, that's like a double, literally a punch, or vocal rapping a punch. You ain't had no punches in your shit, man. Come on, bro. Do something, at least one punchline. Come on, to the meter reads nine, nine, nine. 99% of my fans are blonde. Bitch, come on, answer me, man, respond. Tell me about the sun, rain, moon, and stars. In a galactic or metaphors for Mars. Raw to the floor, raw like reservoir doors. Right into the Mm. Ah, bought another line from Red Man's song, you bitch. You come on, dog. Come on, bro. Raw to the floor, raw like reservoir doors. Bite another line from Red Man's song. Suddenly, the stub of a dead man's arm from a midget reaches out from under the car. It's JD. This motherfucker won't die neither. Drake starts spraying him with cans of ether. We stomp the bitch and then stomp the bitch again. Compton, Detroit, bitch, talk some shit again. Mm. Stomping, switch feet, stomping, switch again. Dre, alright, he's dead. I think Stanibus jumped off the bridge again. He disappeared, yo, he's gone, he did it again. Oh, uh, he disappeared, he's gone, yeah, he did it again. Oh my god. Like his career fucking faded, he's gone, he's dead. Well, he jumped off the bridge, he died again. He didn't die once with the career, he died twice with his career. He died on his own, and I came and killed him again, bruh. Why he do that man like that, bro? Why he do that man like he let out the fucking whole arsenal on that bitch? 
He let out that's it, right? That's it. Yeah, that's it. He let out the whole arsenal on cannabis, bro. Like, yeah, and cannabis better not have tried to fucking fight back. He better not have tried to fucking fight back. If he did, I don't even know if it's worth listening to. The bro, Eminem went see what he spazzed on him with that pen, dog. Yeah, damn, bro. <laughs> I, I mean, I really didn't know what I was expecting. I mean, Cause it was an old Eminem, so I ain't, I'm, I don't know. Eminem never fucking ceases to amaze me, bro. Never fucking ceases to amaze me, bro. He always steps up to the fucking plate in some way or another, man. But yeah, I definitely fuck with it. I fuck with it. If you fuck with the content, like and subscribe. If y'all got some ideas for the whole Throwback Thursday vibe, let me know, man. You know what I'm saying? Got some stuff brewing with the Patreon family, but I mean, this shit is cool, man. Going down memory lane. Like, this shit, this shit is low-key timeless. Cannabis shit, I, I could have forgot about that shit. I can't remember one thing he said. I remember the Norman Bates, uh, Norman Bates, Anthony Hopkins bar. But other than that, I can't remember shit. He, cannabis got decapitated with this shit, bro. But yeah. But like always, shopstevenight.com for the merch. Patreon family, I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for the continued support. Uh, Stevie Knight Fit, get it popping over there, man. My IG, stevie.night. We out.